everyone, welcome to Abstract Boss. My name is Ashley. Today I will be doing part one of the flamingos. So I will be walking you through the background as well as the base part before I start the glittering. Next week I will do part two, which is how I did the glittering on the flamingos. So make sure you tune in to both videos and don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss a single one. Let's get started. I know it's hard to see, but I already have the flamingos drawn out and then I protected them and did a layer of white latex paint on top and that sealed the tape that I used for my flamingos and allowed me to start with my alcohol inks. I am just putting down a base layer of a couple different greens. I utilized the lime green and the forest green from Pinata Inks. And I believe I also added in the lettuce from Ranger Inks, but I wasn't hugely fond of the way that one was showing up. So I mostly laid in the rainforest green here on this project. Once I was done with my alcohol inks, I peeled back the tape to expose the drawing that I had already done. You can see that the latex paint is still showing though, so it protected it just fine. Now I'm using acrylic paints to mix and blend and lay down a base layer for my glittering. Whenever I do my glitter animals, I do wanna make sure that I have some type of painting already down this allows me to know where I'm going to be putting my glitters, how I need to blend my glitters. It is not as easy as just throwing down glitters um, to match the color that's underneath. So because of that, I have found that having some type of painting underneath helps drastically. 